Prophet TB Joshua's visit to the Holy Land, the land of the Bible, Israel, Bethlehem, and Greece. Prophet TB Joshua visits the nation of Greece to tour the biblical cities of Thessalonica and Philippi. Prophet TB Joshua delivers a message of encouragement at the biblical site of Paul and Silas's prison cell and the surrounding remains of the temple and marketplace. all over the world i'm introduced this uh, spiritual monument this is a market where every one of us know and we read so much about in the bible okay follow me thank you what a wonderful blessing being here today You can see the people coming all over the world to see the sights. What a blessing to be here. I'm here in a place other believe is historical. Why others also believe it's a spiritual monument, the land of the Bible, which we have read so much about in the book of Acts. Paul and Salah, hallelujah. I will be taking you around as the Spirit of God directs. I'm led here today by the Spirit of God to visit this place. Indeed, I can say it's a land of Bible. Yes, it's a land of Bible. Let's go in. You will see the market and the historical temple. They were trying to keep this history as much as they could, as we can see around. If I may start with you, I would like to take you to the book of Acts 16. We take the reading from verse 16 about slave girl. I will remind you the book of Matthew 26, where you take your reading from verse 41. We are warned to be very careful so that we will not fall into temptation. Where? There is no way we could live without offense, but the Bible warned us against holding offense. We all know Satan is very soft, clever in taking every opportunity to divert our attention. and put us off focus. You know, we need focus to do the right thing, and we need focus to serve God. When we need to be more focused on our divine cause, here Satan with his temptation. Here Satan with his trial and persecution. This was the case of Paul and Salah. We are seeing their spiritual monument. They were going about their Christian mission. Satan set a trap for them. We know it is the habit of Satan to represent God's people to represent men of God in a bad light. But God often uses this occasion to reveal his purpose in our life. This was the case of Paul and Salah. 
if I may take you to the market you read so much about in the Bible. Hallelujah. You can see some of the pillar standing on their own. You can see some stone, ancient stone, they're trying to, to keep for history. Here we have the market, some of the market structure you are seeing here. In every country, like my country, Nigeria, there is session by session for different market. This is just similar to what we all know in, the, in our countries. This is the temple. Ancient temple, you can see the structure. Paul and Salad, they knew this. So they pray to God to comfort and support them in their affliction. They knew there is no way they could live without trial, without temptation, without obstacle. Anything close to Jesus, close to God, receives attack. They knew that. They pray to God to comfort and support them in their affliction, in their trial. Hallelujah. What a wonderful man. Consider the circumstances under which the preacher prayed and sang praises. Consider the circumstances. We all know and we all believe that only those in affliction pray, they prayed. We also know and we all believe that only those who are happy, to be happy, you know what I mean, sing praises and they all sang praises because they were happy in their affliction. They were happy in their affliction. They believe in their affliction. They need to praise God because it's a real privilege to be persecuted for Christ's sake. It is a real privilege to go through trial for God's sake. The real privilege to be tempted for Christ's sake. Righteous is yours. Hallelujah. If I may take you to some section there. We are still in the premises of Fulham Sala, where they were in prison. You will see different country, different nation moving around. You can see some of the picture here, they are written in Greek. I was talking about the book of Acts of Apostles 16, verse 16. Once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. This was exactly the fact about the Paul Apostle. When they were going on their Christian mission, Satan set a trap for them using a demon possessed fortune teller. Paul and Sarah knew that anything close to God receive attack. So they knew this and they were prepared. They were prepared by the Holy Ghost because the Holy Spirit sent us where we will be protected. The Bible said they pray to God. They were not saying God should remove the trial, God should remove them, they should not meet trial, they should not meet persecution. No, they were praying to God to comfort and support them in their trial, in their affliction, in their temptation. Let's go around there before we go to Paul and Salah's prison. Thank you. Our oh, viewers, I hope you enjoy your precious time with us. If I may ask you a precious question, very precious. Have you made heaven, think of it, the Lord that created us dwells in us.
as we are going, it's in us. This is exactly what happened to Paul and Silas. They were able to be protected because they were going for God's sake. Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, from here we are moving to the Paul and Sala prison. My prayer to you is that the Spirit of God will create the right question and you will make the right answer as to be satisfied. It is the only Spirit that can do that. When we get there, we shall offer prayer because we want to use that as a point of contact uh, to you viewers all over the world. So let's go. Yes, this is the place I want you to be. And I want to use this opportunity to salute the preserver, the protector of this monument. The, the guidance, the director, they are doing a wonderful job for preserving this. And the country and government, I want to salute them. If this place were not preserved, I would not be able to, what would I come to do? If I come, what would I see? So I think uh, this is a plus to the nation. The Lord said we should use here as a point of contact. Pray for you and pray for the nations right now, anywhere you are right now. Deal with me by faith and receive by the covenant where in my heart I release you in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Just as Paul and Salah were released. Be released in the name of Jesus. Whatever situation you are in, be it sickness, hardship, poverty, affliction, isolation, rejection, depression, just name them. By the covenant word in my heart, I release you in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. Here, spiritual monument. What you have read in the Bible, what you are reading in the Bible about Paul and Salah, how they were in prison, this is not just historic. It is real. Indeed, a place of Bible, the land of the Bible, where we are. Paul and Salah were released. By the word in their hearts. The word in their heart became the key that opened the prison gate. Be that in my heart, release you in the name of Jesus. Be that in my heart, be released in the name of Jesus. Be that in my heart, release you in the name of Jesus. Whatever way you might have been connected to Satan, to demon, by way of poverty, by way of sickness, by way of disease, by way of isolation, by way of depression, by way of unbelief, I disconnect you in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. I speak to the nation all over the world. Troubled nation, whatever area you are troubled, war against one another, disunity, hatred around the war, whatever way, you troubled nation, trouble, I command you, cease in the name of Jesus. Cease in the name of Jesus. I send a word to my nation. You trouble cease in the name of Jesus. 
you travel cease in the name of Jesus. I lose you in the name of Jesus from all trouble you are facing. I say to you, you trouble. Be thou loose. Be thou loose. Be thou loose. Be thou loose. I release you from sicknesses and disease, affliction, whatever. The Bible said, Paul and Salah prayed to God to comfort and support them in their trial. Be comforted in the name of Jesus. Whatever area of your life, be comforted in the name of Jesus. Receive strength. Receive strength to go on and on. Receive strength in your nation. Receive strength. I pray to you all that are with me in spirit. This is Paul and Salah prison. Yes. It's here in the Bible. If I may read once again. Mama, yes. At about midnight, Paul and Salah were praying and singing him to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison was shaken. At once, all the prisoner door flew open. Oh, what a wonderful world. And every chain came loose. Hmm. If you permit me to use this word to you, everyone's chains came loose. Everyone chain right now, chain of poverty, Isolation, sickness, disease, everyone chain right now, come loose in the name of Jesus. 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 I release you from every chain. Chain of poverty, chain of isolation, whatever way he might have connected you to himself. Come loose in the name of Jesus. Come loose in the name of Jesus. I break the chain in the name of Jesus. I can hear the chain loosen. Chain loosen. I can hear the noise of the chain loosen. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I say be free in the name of Jesus. By covenant word, I release you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. As if I should not live here. Because I can feel the presence of God. I can feel this presence of God. I feel the presence of God more than ever before. I, I wanted to feel what I'm feeling. The presence of God is, is, is all over. The atmosphere is quite awesome. There's so much trouble in the world. Family trouble, nature trouble, community trouble, 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 trouble. This is synonymous to Satan. That is, Satan used those things to connect people to himself. I break that connection. I break that connection. The way it's used here is clear. It's clear. Look, it said, at once all the prisoner door flew open and everyone's chains came loose. Whatever way Satan might have connected you, whatever way Satan might have dealing with you, whatever way Satan must have relate to you, whatever way and whatever way. Like I say, it's synonymous to trouble, to sickness, disease, and affliction, or oh, isolation, barrenness. Just name whatever. All this trouble all over the world, Satan is synonymous to, to them. He's the architect. He's the manufacturer. He produced them. Satan and trouble. Satan and affliction. Satan and Violent, Satan and disease, Satan and affliction. Just name. I release you in the name of Jesus. Just like uh, everyone here in the Bible, like uh, it is written here, the Paul and Salah prison. And if I, I, I take you back again, it says, At once all the prisoner door flew open, and everyone's chain came loose. Everyone's chain under the influence of my voice. Come loose in the name of Jesus. Come loose in the name of Jesus. Be disconnected. I disconnect you from Satan 
and all his evil, all his sicknesses and diseases, all his attack, all his trial, all his affliction. I disconnect you right now from all this in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, in 27, it said, The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison door open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought this prisoner had escaped. <laughs> Just the place we are talking about. So, Viva, I want to leave you, everyone under the influence of my voice, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, see, I release you in the name of Jesus. Come loose, you chain. Come loose in the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Whatever we sit on, what connected you. Loose in the name of Jesus. It's synonymous to trouble. It's synonymous to sickness, disease, and affliction. Be, come loose, and I lose you in the name of Jesus. I separate you right now. Be free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you once again. Thank you. I want to ask you, have you made heaven? It's not too late. You just have to surrender, give your life to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart today. Wash me with your precious blood. Save my soul. You are the only one that can save my soul. You are my redeemer, my healer, my deliverer. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord.